Good morning, YouTube. <coughs> Excuse me. Happy Sunday, October 1st, 2017. Um, this morning, I have to vent just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yep, I'm still rocking these raggedy nails. The struggle is real right now, but it's all right. Um... <coughs> What is the deal? And no, I didn't put on makeup today. You get to see all of what exists on this face of mine. All of my. Oh. But um, today I have issue because um, what is with these gas stations and corner stores? I'm wondering if if they if if you if some of pe you people out there are experiencing the same thing that I experience or noticing the same things that I notice um, with these gas stations and corner stores that are not of our people. And I'm not trying to start an uproar or anything, but see, I, I find myself always taking up for children in the neighborhoods. Like, hey, give them their change. You know, they they scheme and scam over the kids they penny pinch over the kids they keep their change 50s and 60 cent 30 cent it don't matter 10 cent and then i think about it they do the same thing to us adults sometimes but they won't let you go with the nickel no you need your nickel or you're gonna have to put something back or you need that penny or you're gonna have to put something back but then you're in a gas station and you buy something for for 79 cent 89 cent they damn near won't always give you your change if you don't really pay attention they charge you a full dollar for something that say 89 cent if you ain't really paying attention. I watch people all day go in there and buy <clears throat> those um, uh, black and mouse, 89 cent, 99 cent. I don't know how much they cost, but I watch people hand a dollar and keep going all the time to the same person who won't let you slide with a nickel. You letting them slide with a whole about 15, 16 cent because that thing say 89 cent on some of them. Some of them say 99 cent. Now, I, I, I've asked because I see people drop their dollar and keep going. And then, you know, when you short a penny or a nickel, they like, um, no, 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 it's not enough. Or they won't even take some people money if they give them too much change. Like, no, go get dollars, or uh, we don't want, we don't want the change, or whatever. So this morning I'm up in the gas station, and um, the man told me I was short a penny, and I'm like, how am I short a penny? You charging me a dollar, a dollar, and 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 a penny? Ain't no two two cent tax on on nothing. Why I owe you a penny if I just got something that costs 99 cents? I go in another gas station, <clears throat> buy something 99 cents, give him a dollar. He say 99 cents. I give him a dollar, and he like, thank you, have a nice day. No, give me my goddamn penny. Give me my penny. Y'all start asking for y'all change. And I don't mean when it's only dollars. Those pennies add up too. If you don't, if you don't want the penny for yourself, if you don't like pennies, get a piggy bank for your child. If you don't have a kid, get a piggy bank for somebody else's child then. Those pennies will add up to a new pair of shoes. Those pennies will add up to a new outfit, a new shirt, a new hairstyle, a new haircut. Those pennies add up. And they keeping those pennies and that's how they stay getting rich. And that's how they stand in business. And But they won't let you go with a penny. They're coming up times two, and we need to do something about it. And the thing for you to do is to simply ask for your change back. I don't know if other cities are going through the same thing, other neighborhoods, other communities are going through the same thing, are experiencing the same struggle with their little their, their little black kids in their neighborhood where they're not getting their change back, where they're getting skimped and scammed or played over 10 cents, a dollar, a nickel, or whatever when they go to the store with their mama dollar or their dollar or their mama quest card. It don't matter. Get your change. Teach your kids how to count so they can get their change. 